I use this panel to square the angles. I made sure when I cut this, I cut it square. 33 and a half, corner to corner. And 33 and a half, corner to corner. So I use this to square everything. And I also made sure to set this in the center. There is no gap, so weld it will be very easy. After I packed everything, and I kept making sure everything square, 38 and 516. 38 and 516. Now it's ready to be welded. I'm only welding the top and the two sides. The bottom, I'm just putting three passes from inside. So if there's any moisture, it will go through the gap over there. When you weld anything, make sure you tack it in several places while you put it together. Just in case something is wrong, you could cut these uh, tabs or tacks and you could fix your panel. And uh, this also will minimize warpage when you weld because when you weld, you put a lot of heat into the metal in one side. So that will cause it to flex and warp and all that. So I have it tacked right now. I'm ready to weld it. This is the fourth window I built for my shipping container. They all came out good. I weld them in small basses so they don't warp. I also grounded everything flat so it will fit perfectly against the shipping container and also it will be better for the paint to adhere to, the, to these surfaces. A few safety tips I would like to share with you. Make sure you wear proper safety gear for whatever work you do so you don't hurt yourself. Also warm the people around you uh, to stay away and don't look at the weld or the ground so they don't get hurt. Also, if you have bits, keep them inside because welding arc or ground metal shaving and all that will hurt them. So keep them away. Uh, I'm wearing these gloves, these sticky gloves, even though the weather is hot today. I'm wearing this leather gloves to protect my hand. I also have long sleeve to protect my hand from uh, sunburn or uh, weld burn because it's create ultraviolet and it will burn your skin just like th what the sun does. Uh, also I have a proper welding mask. This uh, it has auto darkening and also it could adjust the darkness of the shade so you could use it for grinding and for welding. I also wear in a steel toe boots to protect my feet if something fall down on them. I have ear plugs to protect my hearing. Make sure you do everything safely. I also collected all the welding rods so they don't cause flat tires. I'm gonna collect them and throw them in the trash. Uh, I just thought to share with this with you so you enjoy the work you do and you be safe. I'm done for today, so uh, I will continue this tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video and be safe.